I was going to start this video by saying death had a good track record, but then I remembered the death... Did it? The death social link in Persona 3 was like... Ooh, you're talking shit about Persona 3 guy? I was expecting you to say something about Persona 4 old lady because I've never, I've never liked that social link. I thought it was alright. Like, it's okay. I, like, dislike the elderly in general, so... But Takemi is a really nice confidant that most people are going to take care of early on. Yeah, it's one of the first social links I think you can get, right? Yeah, it's one of the earliest confidants that you can oh, get. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. It's one of the earliest confidants you can get, and because of everything about her, you're probably going to go for her first. Dude, she's the best. Like, I'm pretty sure 90% of people, uh, when they first saw her in the cafe with that, that banging fucking outfit with, like, the, the spider webs and shit, they were like, oh, dog, I want to tap that. Takemi is a somewhat illegal doctor. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she's legal, but like she's 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 sketchy. She is a sketchy doctor in a yeah. back alley. And she's a doctor, not a nurse. Yeah. I always see people go like the nurse when she's technically not a nurse. Yeah. You're thinking She of, is a doctor. Yes. You're thinking Yeah, you're of, thinking of devil lady. Yeah. But here's here's the difference, and here's why Persona 5 is objectively a better game. You can fuck Takemi. You could not fuck Nurse Lady. One other thing that like separates Takemi from Nurse Lady is you actually can see her do her job. Yeah. Like right. <laughs> uh huh. I don't think you ever have a. There's never a moment. Like there is a moment, but there's never like. The nurse in Persona 4 is a nurse second. <laughs> yeah, you don't ever really see that nurse. Like, I don't know why we're bringing up comparisons between, like, Nurse Lady and Takemi. They're not even the same arcana, but they're in, like, a similar character archetype, I yeah. guess. Yeah. But, like, you never really saw her do nurse stuff. Yeah. Whereas, Whereas with Dr. Takemi, you see her doing all kinds of different shit. Yeah. Some of which I'm fairly certain is illegal. Like, murder a child. <laughs> <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of child-related deaths and or tragedies involved in these confidants. Mostly for the adults. <laughs> yeah. Let's talk about how hot Takemi is. She appeals to a primal part of all of us. Yeah. That, like, started, I want to say, in high school? Or whenever, whatever age it was that you thought anime was cool for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it. Yeah, I get it. I get what you're saying. That primal, like, weeb instinct that also has, like, hairs on your scrotum. Yeah, that primal weeb instinct that's a bit edgy and likes and likes cool girls. Mm -hmm. Takemi's cool. Takemi is very cool. <laughs> She's I think, is it fair to say that out of all the girls, she's got, like, the coolest design? Do we count the Phantom Thieves? Like, in their Phantom Ah, uh, you mean, like... <laughs> mm, I'm gonna say no, just, like, everyday clothes. Then yeah. <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah. Because she looks good in, like, in her casual clothes and in her doctor uh, uniform or scrubs or whatever. They're yeah. not really scrubs. She's very... She's also very casual. Mm-hmm very laid back yeah you don't get like a stuck up like oh look at me the doctor type of attitude from her yeah she's very like her laid back animations is what drawed a lot of people to her before she was even actually revealed <laughs> oh dude i remember like in when we first saw the menus that's how deep the history of with uh of us with this game goes is we remember like the menus trailer yeah. When people saw, like, Takemi's, uh... Outline. The background. <laughs> yeah, her outline. They were like, yo, dog, I want to stick my dick in that. <laughs> they wanted like, to... <laughs> At that point in time, she was the Wii Fit trainer. And people still <laughs> wanted to go for that. People already knew from that Wii Fit trainer. <laughs> yo, dog, that's the one. Yeah. <laughs> Super fuckable. Super fuckable. I feel like the build-up is part of what drew a lot of people there as well 
Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah. Did we see, like, <laughs> her outline before we saw, uh, the other female characters other than On, or was that after? It was before. It was before? Wow. Yeah. So she, her outline was one of the first females yeah. that we knew about in Persona 5. So, like, it was, your choices were On and... <laughs> Boom. I think many people were under the assumption that this is Yukari. Yeah. That's a testament to how uh, <laughs> much of an attachment people have to her, is that they fell in love with an, a fucking outline. That's a testament to the power of Persona 5's menus. <laughs> Dude, those menus are fucking sexual. Her confidant starts with you trying to get steroids <laughs> from yeah, her. drugs. Just, like, just stuff. Yeah. <laughs> like, Morgana's all like, you need to ask about those drugs. And so you go to Takemi and you're like, Hey dude, give me your finest meth. And Takemi's like, No, you gotta be my guinea pig so I can test, like, anti-bone hurt juice on you. And you're like, deal. The conflict in Takemi's confidant comes from people trying to shut her down and her wanting to save the children's. Mm -hmm. From the bone cancer, or yeah. whatever it is. There's uh, one thing that stuck out to me with Takemi's confidant was the fact that she would sometimes make jokes. <laughs> and, like, I, did, I was like, oh, that's very funny the first time. But then the second time I was like, wait, this person is giving me dangerous drugs? And she's yeah. just making a joke? Yeah, dude, she's trying to get you fucked up. <laughs> She's like, whoops, Tylenol. More like, you just swallow a bunch of acid pills, dumbass. As her confidant progresses, like, the most innocent child in the world enters. Yeah. <laughs> and she she cures the child. The child dies of cancer. For yeah. some unrelated cause. <laughs> and then you have to change like medical community assholes art so she can keep her medical license yeah because like medical doctor asshole was i think i think what happened was he was trying to shut her down because he knew that she was gonna invent like the cure for cancer and then he would be fucked of the evil acts that minor confidant people do that one's probably the most evil <laughs> That one's pretty fucking evil because it affects, uh, like, so many unseen people in such a fucked up way. Like, this woman has the cure for these kids' bone cancer! And you're gonna sit there and be like, no, Dr. Takemi, you can't, you can't distribute this anti-bone cancer, I'm gonna fuck you up. <laughs> like, he, like, even without, like, getting into confidant, like, this is helping Takemi, of the of all of them, I felt like I was helping the world the most by taking yeah. his heart. Like yeah, he, like some of them are more person specific, like Hifumi's thing. Like yeah, your mom's pretty fucking evil, but that it's at least just a you problem. But <laughs> yeah, like a lot of them are just a you problem. This guy should have a goddamn palace. <laughs> Takemi's thing, as you might expect would be she gives you healing item. Yeah. But she doesn't give them to you. <laughs> you gotta buy them. Yeah, you gotta buy them. Of the confidants. Like, she has the worst max confidant reward. What does it even do? It just gives you, like, half off? No. You get half off earlier on. The max confidant item, while it fits in with her story of healing the dead... <laughs> yeah. It, it, it's items for reviving. <laughs> this might just be me, but I found Persona 5 very easy in the dying category. Uh, I got blown the fuck out a couple of times. I only got blown the fuck out on the last two bo major boss battles. So, I didn't need... And in those cases... My first thought wasn't to revive someone, it was just to keep going. Uh, yeah, I think Takemi has one of the weaker uh, abilities she gives. Just because the I like the items she offers aren't 
that amazing? There are... There is one set that is basically mandatory, and that's the Invigorate patches. Yeah, those You're, things are super, super helpful. Yeah. Like, you get those, and then you could basically draw for Confidant if you, <laughs> like, only care about the abilities she gives. Yeah, it's definitely one you do less for the ability she gives and more for, like, her character and uh, the Persona boost. Yeah. Like, the items are helpful, but the problem is they're still pretty expensive, even after you get, like, her half-off shit. Mm -hmm. I'd, I'd give her a fair good. Good? Yeah. Uh, well, nope. for the character, I think it's obviously a great. Mm -hmm. But for the confidant... Uh, the confidant itself is good, but the ability is, like, meh. It's helpful. It's not like, oh yeah, this is fucking stupid. Um, wait, I don't think it's something that I necessarily got a lot of utility out of. So yeah, great character, good confidant, uh, meh-ish ability. Yeah. And his final thoughts on her? Ah, Takami's hot. She's, she's even better than that silhouette led us to believe. Yeah. Of the, she is the confidant that I think of most when I think of Persona 5's tone. Yeah, cause she's, she, I think she's uh, the epitome of what I wanted the Persona 5 confidants to be. Like, ever so slightly, there's got like a scummy kind of overtone to it. Yeah, good job, Sukemi. Best death 2014, 2015, 2016, 2017. God damn it. <laughs>